All right, welcome everyone to a special, special episode of the Virtual Fortress podcast. I am your host, the Virtual Wizard. Um, and it is a very special day because we have a special guest and also it's a special <laughs> occasion. It is the 20th episode of the Virtual Fortress podcast. Mm. So without further ado, I have a special guest. Uh, she is badass. She is a, wow, she is a cat lover. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> It is. Um, she is a Twitch streamer, awesome Twitch streamer, and she is a dope gamer. Uh, she mm-hmm. goes by Hippie Carla on Twitch. Check her out. She also goes by uh, Hippie Gamer on Instagram and Cozy Carla. Correct me if I'm yes. wrong. On Instagram. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah. Welcome to the show, awesome. Hippie. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> nah, no problem. No problem. Thanks for coming on. Um, yeah, we're just going to get right into it with the questions. But First Perfect. of all, like how, where did you come up with the the, the hippie Carla thing? I'm kind of interested. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of more of a spiritual person and I've always been classified myself as a hippie. So I, I was trying to figure out usernames and I wanted something that I wouldn't want to change. You know what I mean? I don't want to be one of those people where I'm like, oh, got to change my stuff. Right. So I was like, I think hippie Carla would be good. And my fiance was like, yeah, just do it. It suits it really well. And <laughs> people seem to love it and it suits me. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, really, really catchy. Oh, that, that definitely. Like, yes. Oh, hippie Carla, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. What? Uh, I know you're a huge gamer and um, yes. you will probably kick my ass halo in. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, is, what was your favorite game and console either now or growing up? I'd definitely love to hear that. Um, well, growing up, I would say the NES because that was the first console I've ever played. Mm. And I have older siblings, so they had all like the Dr. Mario, Super Mario Bros. 3, the original Tetris. So I was pretty obsessed with that. <laughs> I played so many hours of Tetris, so I'm obsessed with that game. <laughs> um, but now I would probably say the Xbox and Red Dead Redemption 2 is my all-time favorite story. I didn't play much online, but the story, it got me so good. I had to play it twice. <laughs> well, you completed it, everything. Like, I, uh, I, not I, everything, but I did all the missions and stuff. There's a lot of achievements to get in that yeah, game. I played, I remember I got it. I played it for like five hours straight. I'm like, all right, I think yeah. I did it. And it's like, I only did like 6%. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's so much to the game, right? The very good game takes up a lot of space. But yeah, Red Dead Redemption is yes. classic. Um, I remember killing it for the uh, Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. So, um, yes, yeah all like the gold rush thing and everything was like yeah. uh, online um, right yeah uh, oh yeah dr mario um definitely yes. Kind of it. um yes dr mario story is kind of like sad for me because uh i always tell this story where um mm. i went to a thrift not thrift store a flea market with my uh grandmother and my brother back in the early 90s and right uh, we, we got game boys she bought us Game Boys, and my brother got like you know Super Mario Land, Castlevania, right? Um, the Game Boy, and I got Doctor Mario, and I was all excited. I didn't yeah. know what the game was. I was like, I thought it was a platformer game, and <laughs> I got Tetris, and I was pissed. So, yeah. <laughs> I did. I honestly thought that too when I first played it. <laughs> it's a really, really tough game. Really tough game. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, that's true. Um, yeah, uh, childhood games. Okay, so we had the Windows 98 PC growing up, like the old, <laughs> the old school. So I loved the cereal box games that you could get back in the 90s, but I was really obsessed with The Sims 1. Like that was my go-to game as a kid, for sure. <laughs> and wow. Super Mario Bros. 3. Those were my two top favorites that I always had to play. <laughs> that's crazy that like taught you about life like <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> yeah again, like uh i remember having you remember net zero i think net so zero, yes like, internet connection it yes was, yeah it was, I love, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah the robot noises when you went to make a call <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, the good days <laughs> we're doing rivalries do you have any siblings are you only child if you um have- I am, so I'm the youngest of four. So oh. I have an older sister. She's 11 years older than me. And then I got two brothers. They're seven and eight years older. So I'm a lot younger than everybody else. So <laughs> I had to play with all their gadgets as a kid. <laughs> Any um, gaming rivalries with them? Um, I would say, well, as a kid, 
my one brother, we usually just play casually together, but um, my one brother, who's like next up to me in the list, we played Mortal Kombat 2 on the Sega Genesis as a kid. And oh my gosh, we would be just mad at each other and trying to duke it out with Scorpion and Sub Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely got that game on layaway back in the day. Oh, right? Yes. I forget like the toasty, all that. Yeah, yeah. Out the yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. Um, all right. So much fun. Yeah, that game is amazing. Yes. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about. Uh, your Twitch journey and like okay. how did that all start from you for you and like yeah basically okay. what was the uh, the origin of, of that okay so funny story I'm normally a very introverted shy awkward person I kind of I'm like an overthinker <laughs> so I was like I never really wanted like my Instagram back in the day it was all private and I kept to myself and my brother the oldest brother he's like you should just get into streaming one day I'm like I don't know I, like I do play games but I was like kind of iffy on it, right? Because it was a little uncomfortable. And then when we moved here, he gave us his laptop. He literally bought me and Devin our mic, our um, speakers and all this stuff and webcam for it. And I'm like, okay, well, this is obviously meant to be, right? Like if it's all coming together like this. So shout out to him. So I made a Twitch account and an Instagram gaming account to see where this journey would take me. And I was so nervous. Like my first few streams, my hands were all sweaty. and <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Right. And you're streaming to one viewer, mostly who was Devin at the time. <laughs> but then I started to meet people throughout Twitch by joining their chats and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And now I, that's my absolute passion. I love streaming. I love meeting people like you, like I know you stream and it's such a beautiful journey meeting people from all over the world. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> That's an awesome story, yo. Like you're a dope like streamer. Like you have <laughs> thank you. <laughs> vibes. Um, like you talk to the people out there. So you're not there's a lot of people that just stream and then there's you know, they kind of yes. just like, more comments, but like yes. um, you answer pretty much everything and yeah, the vibe is dope. And um, awesome, thank you. Too. Yeah. Cosplay too. I seen the spider uh, <laughs> yeah. girl. Dope. Yes. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, and yeah, I just want to like commend you for that. Like, you're thank up, you. You're, you're, you're almost close to a thousand followers. Um, yes, nine hundred. Like, that's pretty that's up crazy. There. You know yeah. I'm, no, I'm nothing right now, but uh, <laughs> have a good vibe when I come uh, into your stream. Right. Yes. You know, chop it up. Yeah, the tribe. They're so amazing. Like mm -hmm. I. I would do anything for them. They've been so supportive and they're so welcoming when anybody comes into chat and it's nice. And sometimes I can't read, like, say if I'm playing Mario Kart or something and you're in a race, you can't really like yeah. look in the minute that you're racing and they'll just keep up with the chat. And it's so nice. I love it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, definitely check mm -hmm. Carla on Twitch. Thank Over you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> um, what is, uh, let's talk about favorite gaming characters. Okay. Now, Oof. growing up, doesn't matter. Okay. Arthur Morgan, 100% number one. Okay. <laughs> I brought up Red Dead Redemption 2, but his character in that game, like I don't want to give any spoilers if people haven't played it yet, but his character and his voice are just so iconic and you love him so much in that game. And it's just, if I could have him narrate my life, I could. <laughs> I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Arthur Morgan. That's I've never heard, but not never heard, but like I ask that question a lot to people, and yeah, Arthur Morgan never comes up. So like, really? Oh yes, yeah. it's he's my number one favorite. I love his character. <laughs> I, love, I love the answer. Um, I'm a huge. Uh, I've probably said it millions of times. I've, I'm a huge Mega Man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mega Man guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love the blue. I love the. Uh, right. It kind of resonates with me because uh, Mega Man. The first Mega Man game came out in December of 87. I was born in December of 87. Oh, so we perfect. Kind of, you know, um, yeah, a vibe. <laughs> it's the first video game I've ever uh, beat, uh, Mega Man 3. For awesome. that year. So uh, it definitely has a lot of sentimental value to me. So uh, right, yeah. Mega Man is um, one of my favorites. Do you have any others? Um, for like Nintendo, I would definitely say like Yoshi and Mario, like Mario's the king. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you on the Yoshi thing. Like I, I don't know yes. what it is, but it's like right. I play Mario Kart, Super Mario, uh, Mario Golf, Super Rush. I always pick Yoshi. I don't know. Yes, same. I'm always Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh. Actually, got a couple plushies of him. <laughs> and that over no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, video game crushes. Um, that's a very good question. I would probably. I haven't played much of the game, but I would probably say The Witcher. <laughs> the oh. Geralt. I don't know. I haven't played much of it, so I don't know. Is it Geralt? I think you say his name or Geralt. <laughs> yes, Gerald, Gerald. Yeah. Gerald. Okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I haven't really got to play it. I'm going to download it on the PC cuz the graphics will be nice. So. <laughs> I would probably say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was a huge uh, Blaze. Uh, yeah. Streets of Rage 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some Lee and, you know, Cammy and then I was like, I was right. I was always into Blaze growing up. I don't know. <laughs> about her but like yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> is definitely my go to um right the first video game that you ever beat ooh that I ever beat that's a very good question um ooh I would say Super Mario Bros 3 Classic. Except I didn't hundred percent beat it because that last world is evil, <laughs> <laughs> and I was bad and I didn't keep my like items to take me to that world. Yeah. But <laughs> but I played that game so much, so <laughs> I should have been able to hundred percent complete it. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever streamed it before? Um, when I first started streaming, that was my go-to because I was more comfortable with it, and I it felt like almost at home for me so I was like being nervous that I was so yeah I did stream it but I made it I think it was to level eight and then I kind of switched my direction and got more comfortable and more viewers so I changed it up a little bit to like Mario Kart and Halo now recently <laughs> you know that that's funny you mentioned that because that leads me right into my next question perfect what, how did you get into Halo what's the story on oh. Halo uh Halo okay. is so iconic um, yes. And I know you're a big fan of Halo, so am I, but I feel like you're a bigger <laughs> fan. Um, yeah, what's the story on Halo for you? So, funny thing. So, when Halo came out, I, w I never heard of it. So, we I grew up in a PlayStation home, so we didn't have the Xbox and stuff like that. So, when yeah. I first met Devin, we've been together seven years now, just over seven years. He had the Xbox, and he's like, we got to play the Master Chief Collection. I'm like, I've heard that game so hard, but I'll give it a shot. So we turned on like the split screen and we beat one, two, three, four together on, I think it was heroic. And then we tried it again on legendary, which was like insane. And that really awoke my love for Halo, the stories, the gameplay in general. Like I never really played online too much until infinite, but I absolutely love that franchise. It's so good. <laughs> Obsessed. Yeah. I'm same here. Grew up in a uh, PlayStation household yes yeah um, I, I got xbox later one of my yeah friends was like oh let's let's play halo and i'm like we can co-op and like uh right i can jump on the the, the warthog with you and like <laughs> yeah really i can do that and like um <laughs> i didn't fall in love with it yet but like, right remember when halo 3 came out and it was yeah like, halo 3 oh, yes bananas for it and i remember just right? like, sitting at home and just like watching like uh, like the midnight release and people dressed up as Master Chief oh. and um, stand in front of Best Buy and like right and, stuff. and I was like what what is the big deal about this game but then like yeah I, um because I worked at Blockbuster too so like I was like let me re I rent games Ooh. for free so I'm like, I'm yeah free. fell in love with it oh. fell in love with it. right you know Rumble all that Slayer all yes. that so yes Slayer fell in love yes. with it and I was like yo and then, you know, even my friends were like, yo, you got to play this game called Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah this Halo thing. But yeah, Halo is so dope. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, top three, top three uh, Halo games for you? Um, Halo 3? Mm. I didn't mind Halo 5, um, but Halo Infinite's my number one. Like the, I didn't play much of the story, sadly, because my Xbox was... I have a weird Xbox and it was pausing and freezing the game and crashing my Xbox, but now I have Devin, so I'm going to continue that <laughs> on there. <laughs> but definitely Halo Infinite is my all-time favorite, but Halo 3, I would say, is up there too, <laughs> like you were saying. <laughs> I, 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 one of mine is different. I wasn't a big fan, obviously, of uh, Halo, Halo yeah. Guardians. Um, uh, yeah, Halo I 1 was 
almost stressful because like yeah. funny story when I was playing with Devin we were we would finish a mission right and it would say like you completed it so you had to go to the next place right and it all looked the same it's a very old game so it was like pretty much a maze layout kind of if you remember that so mm -hmm. I was heading backwards thinking I'm going to the next mission and Devin's like where are you going <laughs> so I'd have to follow him around and I'm like good thing you're here otherwise I don't think I'd be getting into Halo <laughs> yeah, but it was it was still good <laughs> now doing it all so, yeah <laughs> yeah I'm a, I'm a Halo 3 uh Halo Infinite of course yes uh, and uh Halo Reach I've it. never played Halo Reach. I hear so many good things about. I gotta get on it. It was, it was really dope, man. But like when they started yeah. coming out with like Halo Wars and you know, yes, like yeah, the games and the Halo uh, ODST, I was kind of like, eh, right, I, yeah, I remember those. But uh, yeah, definitely those three are my favorite. Um, awesome. Yeah. What What was the game that was like? It got you into gaming. Like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I I, I love. Um, right, it's my passion. Yeah, it's my passion. Um, um, game that was like this is this the game. game. Okay, <laughs> I would the say game. The right, Sims. Right. The, game. <laughs> okay. the Sims, yes. Um, just because I played it on the first one, right on the ninety ninety eight Windows computer and stuff like that, I was absolutely obsessed. And then The Sims two came out, and that like took my life away as a kid. I was addicted, but I couldn't bring it with me, which was sad because I had the Game Boy Advance, but I got the sims busting out game for it and that was like yes perfect <laughs> i could bring it with me to school and stuff <laughs> but i had a bunch of like i had super mario bros 3 and the super mario and all that good stuff i even had like a dragon ball z game on there but i don't remember what it was called <laughs> a lot of games went missing sadly throughout the years but <laughs> yeah a lot, a lot of the kids at my job play uh the sims and they love it so, oh, so good. It's so entertaining. <laughs> you could do what, so much with it. Wasn't there one, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't there a Sims game where you can like um, uh, make like an amusement park or something? Or that was probably something else? Um, I, not that I can recall. They like um, roller coaster tycoon or something like that. I feel like that could was... be. They do have like Sim City and like, I That's... don't know if they're related, but they, they probably are. <laughs> Those but, were really fun too as a kid. <laughs> um, uh i had a good question oh do you have any pokemon memories um okay so with pokemon <laughs> <laughs> i had the game boy color as a kid and i think i'm pretty sure it was the yellow so i haven't been too into the pokemon but as a kid i was obsessed with that i was playing with it all the time and then i kind of gave up on it like kind of grew up and never got a new game right until i met Devin, and he had me play let's go pikachu I couldn't put it down. I couldn't put it down. I'm like absolutely obsessed. I just started uh, Arceus, the new Pokemon game, oh, yeah, which yeah. is really good. I'm loving that. So <laughs> kind of getting back into the Pokemon world again. And it's it's very fun. <laughs> that's, that's dope. Um, is it? Yes. Let's go Pikachu. That's not the one with the with their microphone, right? No, that was Halo. Uh, no, I know. Yeah. Halo. I think the, you could get the little Pokeball. But we don't have that. I think you can okay, pretend yeah, to like yeah. throw it and stuff. But we never had that, sadly. Yeah, I, can't <laughs> I remember that. You came with a little. Yeah. Little, that's okay. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, that's what, a cute game. Yeah, Pokemon is, is legendary. I remember coming home from school and just like. Yeah. Moving on the TV. Squirtle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah. 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 Squirtle. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, having all the cards and like bringing them to school. Yes. And, uh, I remember I got my first holographic. Was uh, my champ. And I was, oh yes, like, went ape shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Remember, and then like I had like a whole binder of Pokemon cards, and oh yes, grandmother threw it out. So oh <gasps> no way! Yeah. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. <laughs> never forget that. I'll never. Yeah, forget no that. kidding. I wrote Joran's Pokemon with white out on a black. <laughs> Oh, so it's just bold. <laughs> yeah, it's like these are mine. She threw them out. So. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sucks! All that hard work. Yeah, uh, you know it's part of the story, part of the journey. That's just it. That actually happened to Devin too. His whole binder was gone. I was like, no oh. way. <laughs> wow, Those smart. things can be worth a lot of money. So. <laughs> I hear. Yeah, yeah. Charizards, holographic Charizards, are up there in price. Um, wow. Yeah. Um. Favorite, uh, I know you talked about the Game Boy Advance, but yes. uh, is that, uh, the next question actually was uh, favorite handheld. 
Yes, definitely the Game Boy Advance SP with the little light and it folds. That was my go-to. Like people in school were like kind of looking like because they had the I can't just the regular Advance where you needed like a light to see your screen and stuff yep. like that. So I would kind of like rub it in their face. Like I have a light button. <laughs> I could play in the dark if I wanted to. <laughs> but that was definitely my go-to. It fit in my backpack. I still have it. It's actually it works fine. I just had to buy a new charger for it. I love that thing. It's still so satisfying to play games on. Yeah, I, I I love the uh, uh there was a Game Boy Advance. It was, it was yeah, I mean it might be that one, the SP. It was like model one zero one or something like that. And oh, okay. Had, the light was like yes. really bright. I know the Game Boy Advance, the purple one, it's like that. Yeah, the purple one. Yeah. Yeah, you needed like a street light or like your yeah. <laughs> to like see stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, but it was like, yeah, you could just like hit the button and it would like go brighter and brighter and brighter and i was like yes yeah, and it yeah. All, almost looked modded so it's like oh yes um, yeah uh, that's it's amazing actually a, a good a good question handheld you know um that's really tough you know uh right like, you know I, I felt like i i thought i was like i'm gonna have all these answers but i'm like <laughs> yeah right i know <laughs> i just bought a switch oled and i'm like having a blast with it i, I might say that's <sighs> favorite handheld uh, that's true i never i was thinking more retro but the yeah, switch I, yes i was gonna go retro i'll give you a retro one i, I do love the original game boy uh mm. yeah because it's just you know yeah where it started um exactly yeah never the beginning forget, you know original game boy i'll have to go with that but uh i mean i never really owned a game gear um right my cousin did but the Switch is like really doing it for me right now. Um, right, I know they did so good with the Switch. Like the ha we don't have the OLED, but we definitely want to get it. <laughs> we still got the original one, so yeah, no, it's still dope. Like because it I, works still perfectly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's still beautiful. I have a Switch Lite as well, the coral pink. One. Yes. So, oh, like, do you got the pink one? Nice. Yeah. So I I had that one. I know you have like the the turquoise one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love that. It's so much fun to bring around. It's a little easier in the hands, but my go-to is still the dockable one. <laughs> Just the regular yeah. Switch. I love that feature. I got it as a gift for my uh, the Switch Lite for a gift uh, on my oh. birthday a couple years ago, and I was like, oh, this is good. But like, I found myself not really playing it that much. Right. So, um, I just recently bought the OLED like a few weeks ago and like yes. now I'm like hooked and especially right? with the yes. Kirby game coming out and everything is just, just yes. beautiful. It's beautiful on the TV and like bigger screen and it's, it's, it's so dope, but that's um, nice. Yes. Sleep no shade on the, uh, the light. The light is awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Like I bring that thing with me. I never really bring my switch with me, but it's always the light that I like put in the case and walk out in nature and stuff and just game out a little bit. And that's usually where I get some of my Instagram photos from is with my light. <laughs> yeah, like on the wilderness and stuff. I'm like, yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> nature uh, and game. <laughs> <laughs> nature and game. Um, yes. Who do you, who you got? You got Mario or you got Sonic? And why? Mario. Well, I played a lot of Sonic, but I would definitely say Mario because he's more like at home to me. Like I love his, I love all the games of Mario. I missed out on a couple. Like I never had the GameCube, sadly. Oh, wow. I missed out on that generation. I wish I could have, but yeah, I would definitely say Mario because he's, he's, he's the best. <laughs> Sonic is good. Like I played a lot of Sonic on the Sega Genesis as a kid and that was a lot of fun. But he has nothing on Mario, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you kind of you kind of changed my answer too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Sonic, but nah, yeah, Mario is yeah. definitely iconic. They're both iconic. Yes. And, uh, yeah, very. Yeah, new Sonic movie coming out. You know, I felt like well, maybe should I? No, but <laughs> right, yeah. Mario's the guy. Um, uh, so you, I would say like your favorite Mario game is probably Super Mario Bros. Three, huh? Hundred percent. Yeah, and then Mario Kart for sure. Like Mario top two favorites. Like Super Mario Kart, Super, uh, Super Mario Kart uh, 64, uh, um, Kart, uh, 8 Deluxe. Yeah, 8 Deluxe, 100%. I love the graphics. Like One thing I noticed with Mario Kart 8 is there's one thing where you're racing it and you're trying to get first place, but when you're watching someone race it or you're like spectating and you look at the details that they put into like the background and like the all that stuff it's unreal like i absolutely love that game so good <laughs> yeah, that game is addicting i play with many yes and then like yeah 
she will change. Yes. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, yes, um, my favorite is probably Double Dash on the GameCube. Oh, yeah. See, I wish I could have played that. It's, re- it's really fun because you can actually play with two people. Like two oh, people okay. So one person will be driving and the other one will be just throwing the, uh, you know, items. Oh, so that sounds fun. Really fun. So it's like if you and Devin play together, yep. like, it's dope. It's so <laughs> that would be so fun. <laughs> um, the worst. Worst video game. Ooh, that's a really good question. Never play. I think. Like, I can't stand this game. <laughs> or that and I can't stand this console. Um, oh. Not stand, but like not a big fan. Not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of it. That's a really good question. Oh, trying to think of all the games. Halo Wars. Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, I'm not too much on hating games. Um, trying to think. I would say a game that you're like, man, it's not for me. Right. Not for okay. me. I wouldn't say hate, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. Um, well, for example, I'll go with, so, um, until dawn, I'm not hating on it, but I thought it was going to be like, not what I was when I first, I streamed it, which I shouldn't have cause I didn't complete it. Right. So I don't want to start a game and not complete it on stream. Right. So mm-hmm. I started it and it just, I don't know, the gameplay was different. Like, you know, those, I don't know what they're called, but when your camera is like off in the room and your character's just kind of walking around instead of like the, you being behind your ca- your character and walking around, that was kind of weird for me. I don't know. I'm kind of picky that way. Like there's a few games that I turned on, like uh, I think it was resident evil, the old school ones. Cause I've never played any of those games. And I'm like, this just doesn't feel right. I don't know. I just can't see myself. Yeah. Yeah, they call out uh, tank controls. Oh, okay. Just like, uh, like Resident Evil, back is forward, forward is back. And, you know, yeah, yeah. Using like, now I get that. So it's kind of like you have to. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, so I wasn't <laughs> confident playing it. <laughs> no, I hear that. Like, you know, uh, I, it's really, sometimes it's really hard for me to like figure out what I want to stream because it's like, I don't want to stream. Yes. And it's like, I suck at it, you know, which right, is like, yeah. nobody really cares, but yeah, I'm like, I want to do good, you know, in the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to at least have fun and be entertaining at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I never want to be like, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. And like, you know, people get, yeah. you know what I mean? So exactly. Um, well done. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I did, I could see the appeal and stuff, but it just wasn't for me, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance, I guess, but yeah, I've had some people be like, Oh, it's so good. I think I overhyped it in my head. So when I played it, I was like, what's going on? It was like a slower story game. Right. But maybe I just got to try it again. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely give it a, a every, every game deserves a second chance. Uh, That's about, just it. Yeah. How about, uh, how about console console that, um, retro or, you know, urban, not for mm. me, never really got into it. Okay. Oh, never got into it. I would say, well, that's hard because we own like Nintendo and <laughs> Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs> so I would probably say Sega only because I didn't really play. <laughs> well, the Genesis, we uh, the only games that I've ever played on there was Mortal Kombat. And I don't know if you've ever played Echo the Dolphin. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh, that game is so hard. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's, holy it's, moly dolphin game that game is uh that's, that game is all just nothing but torture right yeah, yeah. anxiety as a child you're just like what the heck is going on yeah, uh, for me i would say i don't know if you ever play this game maybe this is uh, this game i thought it was it's a mortal kombat game okay i thought it was going to be something amazing uh, right sub-zero mythologies Oh, I've never heard of that. So basically, you know, they had Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and then, like, they came out with a Sub-Zero themed game. And it was oh. Mortal Kombat, well, not Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero Mythologies. And it was basically a Sub-Zero, same graphics or whatever, but it's a platforming game. Oh, okay. And it was just, in my opinion, it was just bad. It was just bad. The jumping puzzles, it just didn't look right. I, I, right. I, I try to like it, but I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but yeah, I see what you mean. Yes. Yeah. You get all hyped and excited because like you see Sub-Zero, but then it's 
not what do you think at all? <laughs> <laughs> kind of throws you off a little bit. <laughs> I, I hear that. How about how about mm -hmm. a game that's like the cover looks amazing, but the game is. Ooh, I we've normally buy digital, mm. mainly because our like Series S's don't have like the disc drive. <laughs> I tried to get my hands on an X, but I couldn't. Getting new consoles is hard nowadays. But um, let's see. My memory is not working today. Um, You're good. <laughs> Yeah, there's a trust me. There's a lot of games on like the Game Pass that I'm like. Oh, yes, that's what I'm trying to think. Yes, cool. I'll download this and then it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Um, that actually kind of helps me. Um, so the, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's my time at Portia or Porsche. I'm not sure how you would say that. My cat's destroying things. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I thought it was like similar to Stardew Valley where you're like 3D farming and running around a town and stuff. But when I got more into it, it was just not what I thought it was. It was kind of like a blah game to me. So I kind of just left it, <laughs> didn't go back to it. I prefer Stardew Valley. <laughs> Stardew Valley. That's probably one of my favorites too. Stardew Valley is, is, is addicting. I'm not oh yes, I'm not you wouldn't play. think so, but wow, <laughs> it takes up your time. Yeah, uh, is there an RPG game that you love to death? Ooh. Um. Have you ever played Elder Scrolls Online? Absolutely. Yes. That's, I haven't really gotten into like Skyrim and that, those like those games, but I did get into the Elder Scrolls Online and I uh, got pretty obsessed with that a little too much. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not normally like I've never played World of Warcraft. I did a little bit, but not like enough to do like I think I did one mission and that was it. But I would definitely say Elder Scrolls just because something so satisfying with your staff and you're just destruction and all that stuff i absolutely <laughs> love that <laughs> yeah no, i hear you I, I never really got into wow either and yeah um, yeah elder scrolls and like skyrim i mean I, I worked at blockbuster at the time and skyrim yeah. came out and we were packed <laughs> right yeah it's still a huge game like i'm shocked with how many people are still like talking about it and loving on it it's awesome like Devin, i bought it for him for his birthday five or six years ago and i didn't really know like mm -hmm. overly what it was because i never played it right and then he just played it for days and he still will just turn it on and make a new character and just go around i'm like i gotta try and like get myself in there like, <laughs> if it's that good like i gotta try it out <laughs> i think at the time I, I could be wrong you had like the most uh gameplay hours okay. i think oh wow that wouldn't it surprise me we had it well maybe not the most but it had a lot i don't even know right something like 400 hours or something like that oh yeah wow <laughs> I and mean, i played it for a, a little bit i didn't want to get obsessed but right you can't do it yeah um, <laughs> yeah as you can see i am rocking an acdc shirt love so, it you know we can get a little bit uh a little bit off topic you talk about okay. like, uh, your favorite bands and like who you who you're listening to what's what's up with that um so i like dance music and stuff like that right i like mm -hmm. the beats and stuff but mainly um we listen to classic rock a lot so i would definitely say like guns and roses acdc mm -hmm. um ozzy osbourne um system of a down is like one of my top favorites i love their like tell me about that on your stream yes yes, yes. And I kept playing, what did she say? Was it down of the, down under? No, I kind of remembers System of the Down, okay. Yes, one of my favorite bands. I've listened to them since I was a kid and my sister would play it in her car when she was still in school. So I was like six years old or something like that. And I would just rock out. And now that I'm older, I'm still just obsessed. Like I love their music, their goofiness and <laughs> <laughs> the metalness to it as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, yeah, of course. It's it's, yeah. it's like I every time I drive to work or wherever I always put on eighties eighties uh, rock. Yes, it's so good. It, I don't think it will ever get out of style. Like there's something yeah. about that. It's just so good. I think it just gets me in my feels. Like yo, it just yes. reminds me of like the the good old days and like not yes. everything to be about like you know trap music and yeah. Like, Sometimes like, like I feel old and I'm like I don't know I don't know how to dance to this or like rock <laughs> out to this. <laughs> So it's like, I'll stick to like the more original style music. <laughs> that's, that's dope. How, um, what is uh, your favorite, um, 
well, who have you seen and what was your favorite concert mm. or show you've seen uh, of a rock band or just, you know, any In general? Musician? Musician. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I've been to quite a few and they're all very different. Like, uh, mm. so my first concert was Avril Lavigne. I was in ah. grade seven, I think. Yeah, I think I was in grade seven and she was like my idol and we, I went with my best friend at the time and we went and it was awesome, awesome experience. And then I saw, oh my gosh, I saw Nickelback live, which a lot of people hate on, but man, they put on a good show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> They're actually from Alberta. So it was, that's kind of why I was like, oh, I, I like to listen to them and stuff. Right. But Tenacious D was a lot of fun. We saw Tenacious D. Wow, that's awesome. Yes, it was so cool. I was like, I can't believe I'm like right in front of Jack Black right now. And that's he's saying so good and they had awesome good. energy. Like, <laughs> a joke, yo, they're really good. Jack yes, Black. right? Yeah. Like, Tenacious D in the pick of destiny. My God, I love that movie. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, no kidding, right? Yeah. <laughs> we uh, went to their, their concert. It was based on their latest movie but it was like a cartoon so I never got to see it and they played it before they came out on stage so it was like an hour and a half and I'm like did we just pay tickets to like watch a movie in a stadium <laughs> <laughs> so I was like really confused but then they came out on stage and rocked it I was like yes that was so much fun wow. I would definitely say number one that's that's awesome um yeah I uh one time one time I won um uh, on a radio show I won tickets to go to Baltimore and it was like oh, kind of yeah. like this, uh, uh, it was kind of uh, like a kind of like a Woodstock type of thing. Like oh yeah, one of those type of like uh, out in the field and like all these artists oh. came. So um, I got to see uh, Public Enemy. Um, oh, okay, nice. Uh, Blink One Eighty Two, Weezer. Oh. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was it was an amazing experience. It was it was dope and it was free. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to like a festival style yeah. thing, but then COVID happened. So we can't really do that. Stuff. <laughs> but I've always wanted to like go to a rock one or like, I think we call it, I can't remember. It's a country themed one. They come up in Alberta and they all sing there. I don't mind country music, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. My, my uncle, he, uh, not too long ago, he went to go see Metallica in New York and I was, I was really jealous. So. Oh, Wow, that would be so fun. Yeah, I really, I love, I I've love heard they're amazing live. Yes, I've had live, but I could imagine. Um, right, yeah. They're awesome. oh, jealous. Um, <laughs> you gotta take you gotta take um, three games with you. Mm. Um, leave everything else behind. Okay. Take three games with you. You take uh, three consoles with you. Ooh. What are you taking? Um, three games. The Sims 4. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 3, because I will never get tired of that. I will be 80 years old and like showing my grand my great grandkids the secrets. <laughs> and Tetris. 100 percent I don't know if, if you played the new Tetris, a uh, Tetris effect, but wow. They did so good on that game. It was really difficult, but so much fun. I haven't played Tetris Effect, uh, Tetris Attack. Um, oh, okay. It was a Super Nintendo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. That. Yeah, um, they released it on, I think it's Game Pass or on there, but it's also a VR game. So it, the <laughs> effects are really cool. Yes, I haven't played it in VR, but it was on the Xbox and I absolutely was obsessed. <laughs> I've definitely seen it, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what? In the... Now go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and the, sorry, and the three consoles I'm trying to think. Um specifically, I would say the Nintendo Switch. Hmm. Yeah. The Xbox Series S. There's many Xboxes. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably ooh. I would say the PlayStation 4. I don't have the 5, so I'd go with the 4. You know, for the sure. Yeah. Those are good choices, and um, a lot of people will pick retro stuff, which I probably... yes, I was thinking about it, but nowadays no, I think I'll go newer. It's because you know, like sometimes uh, this will have this is what happened to me. It's like I started like really appreciating like 
yo, the library of PS4, the library. And I'm like, yes, oh, so many games. And I'm like, I kind of just brushed it off. So, right. Um, yes. Yeah. So like if someone that has like a dope PS4 collection, I'm like, yo, I didn't realize these, these new games. So, right. That, yeah. That, that's some great choices. There's um, a lot of new games I still need to get into. I kind of been neglecting it lately since we got on the, well, since I got on the Xbox train. So <laughs> the <laughs> graphics on the PlayStation are um, absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to get back into that. I know there's a new Wolverine game coming. Mm. They kind of teased on it. And I'm like, oh, I want that so bad. So <laughs> got to get my hands on a PS5. <laughs> I, uh, I give people good luck. I've, I've, for some reason, I tell people, I'll be like, yo, you're looking for a PS5? I give you good luck. And I, and I promise. Awesome. You. Yes. And then they always like DM me like, yo, I found one. Like, <laughs> oh, that's like, awesome. Three, three weeks later. Like, oh. You see, I told you. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm going to wish you good luck. Uh, Thank you, I, yes. I hope you grab one. They're, it was really difficult to get for Yes, they're for so, me. like, rare nowadays. So when they come out, it's gone. Like, it's like everyone's watching it, and they just grab it once they see it. <laughs> That's not box pre-orders or anything like that, or getting on mm -hmm. or something. Um, right. I was going to wear my Dragon Ball Z shirt, but I could not find it. I could not that find was it. The worst. I'm always like, where, 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 where. I was yeah, like, <laughs> I know. And then I see my, my my the Office shirt. I don't know if you've ever watched the Office. Oh, of course. <laughs> and yeah. I was gonna wear that, but I was like, no, no, no. It's either Dragon Ball Z or this. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of uh, we're wearing down now. Uh, so I'll okay. say, what's a game that you um, you've been interested in, haven't tried it yet, but you're like, I think I'm gonna give this one a go. Um, mm. You know, not a bad thing, not anything that, you know, just something that like, you know, I've been eyeing this game and like, you know, people might be playing it or like yes. it might've been out for years and you're like, you know what? I got to play this game and I'm going to do it. Yes. So I will have to go with the Spider-Man game. I've missed out on that game. Mm -hmm. And now that I have the Spider-Man suit, I'm like, I think that'd be a really fun game to play because on Instagram, um, I've seen so many posts on it. Nala's joining the stream. <laughs> Sorry. Talk about Spider Man. So, yeah, yeah. 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 Showing her powers now. I get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've seen so many posts on it on Instagram, and I'm like, that looks so good. But I've been meaning to buy it, but I have a huge backlog of games, as we all do, mm. and it's hard to keep up. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even played Spider Man either. Um, mm hmm. I have a Spider-Man suit too, as I mentioned to you. Oh, yes, I'm like, yes. I don't know I'm, what do I want to cost. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the next thing. Um, so fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know. What, what game am I trying to play? You know, I did. Actually, it's, it's probably a game that I uh, I was, like, really, like, slacking on. But I finally, like, streamed it, like, a while ago. And it was God right. of War. The newest oh, yes. Of the world, so, and, like, I'm glad I did. It was amazing right um, amazing graphics I, I still haven't finished it yet um same know, yeah i haven't finished you know, it quite yet it happens you try to stream everything and like <laughs> yeah. it's tough but like yeah it is tough yeah it's amazing game. amazing game oh, yes. and I'm definitely the graphics excited. floored me i was like Devin, you see this like come look at this like wow <laughs> yeah i was like oh my yeah. god and then like yeah the new one's coming out soon uh, yes fall or something so like i'm excited for that um, yes so uh, my last question for you uh, is what's next for Carla? What's next? So, um, uh, no. <laughs> so we just got an Alienware PC. I know a lot of people hate on Alienware, but we, we just decided let's try it out. And we are insanely happy with it. We were streaming and stuff off of like an old Lenovo laptop. So this is quite a different game changer. So I'm going to try and change up some stuff, get a nice setup going for like Instagram pictures. You know, you see those all the time yeah. and yeah, more PC gaming. I, that's the world that I kind of missed out on. I, as a kid, I, I did a little bit, but they were, it was so different back in the nineties compared to now. So I'm excited to see what the PC world has got for me. I'm excited. Yeah. My cousin has a PC and he's like, you need to get on this. And I'm like, <laughs> That's what they all say, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. 
Okay, I'm not rich. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's so expensive. Wow. I played Halo Infinite on it last night and we didn't have, I don't know how to connect a controller yet. So I'm playing on the keyboard and mouse. I don't think I could get used to this. I'm a controller girl for life, I think. I think you can connect the Xbox controller to it, right? Yes, we just got to figure out. I think it's Bluetooth somehow. I'm not too sure. I'm so new to all this stuff. Yeah. No, but um, I really appreciate you for joining me on this special episode. Of oh, thank you for having me. It's my first uh, podcast. Of course. Oh, you know, thank you so much for coming on. <laughs> Amazing episode. Um, and I will leave the floor to you if you want give you like a good 30 45 seconds to plug yourself what do people how can people find you um, okay yeah all your info lay it all okay off. okay sounds good so on twitch it is hippie carla just straight up hippie carla i'm more of a cosplay streamer i'm never serious i love to have fun i love to laugh i try to make people laugh i'm not a pro at gaming but i still have fun which is the best and we got the best community to welcome anybody in so no matter what, you can come in and say hi. You're always welcomed with a smile. And Instagram, um, hippie underscore gamer. I tried my best to post all sorts of different stuff. I don't normally stick to one type of posting, but nature pics, gaming pics, Twitch clips, all that kind of stuff. I just mainly like to have fun and be myself. So, and attract the right people with that. <laughs> so yeah, come by, say hi. I would love it. You heard her. Yes. Uh, that was a perfect pitch. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> she is awesome. Definitely check her out. If you do not check her out, you are definitely missing out. So <laughs> thank um, you. Yes, I appreciate you for coming on once again. It has been a blast conversing yes. with you about video games and, and, and bands and all that stuff. Yes, that's uh, fun. Yeah, and thank you all for joining us out there in podcast land. And you know what I say, keep keep gaming on and keep gaming in your hearts, and we will catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.